so this is the initial condition of my cone where I have this uh, top view and uh, sorry this is the front view and this is the top view that I have and why this is lying on the base because this when uh, while I'm viewing it from the front view this base will be lying on HP so this is considered as HP when we're drawing the front view and uh, this is considered as VP uh, when we're drawing the top view so this is the this is the I'll mark it down for you this is the front view and this is the top view in this case now let's do one thing now what we needed to do is that the axis is inclined at 45 degrees so just imagine this scale to be the axis so what I'm doing is that I'm taking this exactly and keeping it here then what I'm doing is I'm turning it 45 degrees in such a manner that it makes 45 degrees with respect to this line that is line XY so once that is done I can draw my cone and I can have what I can have my uh, this point uh, I can have my position of the cone in this condition and then I can draw the top view accordingly so what next are we going to do now I will for this I'll mark a point I'll mark a point here and then uh, first I'll measure 45 degrees so this is 45 degrees I have just put a dot and I will just draw oh sorry I made a miss yeah so what I need to do is I need to mark a center first and then accordingly I I marked 45 degrees now I'll just from this point I'll just extend the line so basically this will be the axis of the cone this is the axis of the cone now what I need to do is I need to find a point which is uh, this diameter was 40 mm so I need to find that a point which is exactly 2 cm away from this line so that will be where my uh, this point that is E and C uh, sorry uh, yeah that is E E dash 1 will lie so I need to find this point first and you have to make sure that it should be perpendicular exactly perpendicular to this line so go on like this and just find a point where this is intersecting with this line and there I can draw my base of the uh, this cone at 45 degrees so this is 45 degrees and this cone this is actually the base of the cone which is this line this line that you're seeing a e a dash e dash is exactly this line so it means that I have taken this and I have rotated it in this manner and kept it here so now I'll need to mark uh, the different points so I'll begin with this point this point would be a 1 dash and this point will be e 1 dash so what I need to do is I need to mark these two points I have this point also this point would be C1 G uh, C1 dash and G1 dash now there would be two points one would be here and one would be here that is according to that so I put my compass at A the center of the, uh, the pointed end and measure H A H and I will cut an arc here similarly I'll measure A E F and I will cut an arc in this fashion and now I'll mark these both the points this will be H1 dash and B1 dash and this will be F1 dash D1 dash okay it's just a bit congested because I need to use a thick sketch pen to mark this and the height of the cone is given to as 6 centimeters so I can just take the measurement here if I want and I will put the pointer end here and cut an arc here 
now I just need to join the endpoints so I've joined the endpoint so this point that I've got is O1 dash now just drawing vertical projectors from uh, the line above and horizontal projectors from the circle that is a base circle I will get what I want so first I'll draw the lines in this way straight down and this also in the same way now I'll take where is point C now point C is here uh, where is point C yeah point C is the center which is given here so it is on this line so I need to extend this line as like this and mark this point mark this point as C1 okay next the next line that I have is B and D which will be in this now where is B and where is D uh, B is this point so it is on this line so I have marked this point and D D is on this point so I have marked this again I'll use my sketch pen to mark it this is B1 and this is D1 okay next uh, what I have is A and E these will be the two extreme lines A will be on this and E will be on this so okay sorry yeah this point and this point again mark it as a1 and this as e1 the next we have is h and f okay h is here and f is here and finally i have g which is here and I forgot to mark one point that is O which is here so this is H1 this is G1 this is F1 now I just need to connect all these points beginning with G I will go to H go to A go to C and then in this manner and finally I'll connect the two endpoints with this point that is point O one. so this is the final figure that I'll have for this uh, solving this particular question well, first what I did is I this is the base circle which I am viewing it from the top and then this is the front view of the initial position then this axis this axis which is there is kept at 45 degrees so I replicated this cone at this angle and then I just drew the projectors downwards from these points and horizontally from these points to get my final figure in this form so let's move on to the next question a cylinder of base 60 mm and height 70 mm is having a point on its of its periphery of base in VP with axis of the cylinder inclined to VP by 45 degrees and parallel to HP or ground draw its projection now what is it saying uh, if you recall the first question in which uh, let's go to that uh, isometric view of the first question see this question in this question what is happening is that this base is there on VP similarly now for this question again the base is on VP and instead of making an angle with HP this is parallel to HP and it will come out of HP to making an angle of 45 degrees yeah making an angle of 45 degrees and it is actually parallel to HP and it is making an angle with uh, VP so we can say that it is making it is inclined to VP and parallel to 
HP and the cylinder is of base 60 mm that is the cylinder base uh, circle and that upper base circle would be 60 mm in diameter and the height would be 70 mm. So let us begin to draw the solution because I think by now you will be able to uh, see that uh, what is there. Now another point that if you are referring in a book uh, that is PJ Shah then in that the solution that is given for this problem is in third uh, angle view and the thing that we are going to draw is in the first angle. So do not get confused both the solution are correct you can solve the problem in first angle as well as third angle. So right now the problem that we uh, the, this problem we are solving it in first angle so do not get confused about the solution because it would be exactly opposite of what is given in the textbook that is in third angle and we are drawing it in first angle ok. So let us begin with uh, the, the given data so first of all we will be drawing the uh, base circle and then then we will be drawing the views of it. So where fr first line x y has to be drawn as always ok I will just use another paper it is just a bit slant No, it's okay. Okay, so we have a straight line here. So X and Y. Now let's see. The diameter is given to me as six, so I my radius would be three. take the center take an appropriate center just so that the namings are okay and does not go out of the paper as well hmm. so I drawn this with the center I will just make it dark with the sketch pen The next thing is divide this circle into 8 parts. Again, I will be just doing it directly, but in exam or anywhere, you should never do it directly. This is just to illustrate to you that how uh, the problem is solved. So, this is you have already done a lot number of times. Just take the point. let us name them. Now here there will be the top and the bottom will be there the base uh, this will be actually two circle one circle would be this is the top view uh, this is the front view of it. So the front view has this first and the other circle will be behind so we will have two points for each one. So uh, a, a dash 1 dash so b dash 2 dash c dash 3 dash d dash 4 dash e dash 5 dash f dash 6 dash g dash 7 dash h dash and 8 dash and the center is o dash. So let us extend the projectors downwards from all the points.
and so now let's mark them this is one this is two and eight this is three and seven this is four and six and this is five these are the points so this when we are seeing it from the top this is the line that is one to five this line is actually the circle base which is lying on VP okay this is there now the length is given as 70 mm so I need to extend these lines 70 mm Keep it as one so that it's parallel. Extend till eight. And these points would be denoted as this. This is a this is E for getting rest of the points I'll draw the perpendicular oh sorry I'll draw the projections of these points on this line and let's now name them so this is H and B so B will be there H will be there G and C C G and D and H A B C D E then oh, sorry F G will be F will be there F now what we need to do is that this axis this is the axis of uh, this uh, cylinder now this axis has to be uh, taken up in this manner and then put here and it has to make an angle of 45 degrees with respect to VP so again the same thing uh, I'll do first of all I'll mark a point and from that point I'll take 